you know, when I first got into this business, I said, it's great. You know, you got body fat, you can release those fats, the liver will take it up, make ketones, it'll feed your brain. Yay, cool. This is much more complex. And most of it is good. We now know that the heart is, loves ketones. And the failing heart in particular prefers ketones because once the liver makes the ketones, it takes oxygen to make ketones in the liver. So you fat comes to the liver, you gotta have oxygen coming to the liver to make ketones. Once they're in the blood as fuel, the heart can generate energy with 20% less oxygen. So if you have an artery that isn't this big, but that big, and there's not much oxygen coming into your heart, but you've got ketones there, you can get more ETP from, the small, from that limited amount of oxygen. Uh, hey, you know, 20% a 20 advantage is, again, if I had a drug that did that, I, I could retire. <laughs> there has been a study done, two studies done in the US on health span and lifespan in mice. Um, uh, with either an intermittent uh, ketogenic diet or a continuous ketogenic diet. The ones that were given the continuous ketogenic diet live 13% longer. And here's the really two neat things about them. When they were, they lived to be like 1,100 days. Most mice, when they get to 900 days, they're senile. Can't remember where, where to go, where the food is. They can't hang on to things. You know, they can't walk across a narrow strip over water. Uh, and they don't notice new novel things in their environment. These animals on the ketogenic diet maintain their youthful uh, muscle, nerve, and uh, uh, um, um, awareness at, out to 900 days. So the health span was dramatically improved and they lived 13% longer. And when they did autopsies when they died, they found l less than half as many cancers. Because these mice, the C C57 black six strain, commonly dies of cancer at, 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 at old age. And the, the frequency of cancer was reduced. At, at the, we, they lived longer and had fewer cancers. Does that prove it works in humans? No, I will tell everybody that mice are not a good model for humans, but it's a good basis for a hypothesis. Uh, and uh, hopefully this will stimulate a lot more research on that.